Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Kevin Eknes and today we're going to check out some spread triads. Now a spread triad is basically when you move one of the intervals up an octave so that you're not stacking thirds directly. Uh, it could for example be instead of one, three, five, you move the third up an octave and so you get one, five, three. Or it could be if you have, for instance, um, five, one, three, you move the one up an octave. Now to me, it's a very stable kind of a sound. It emphasizes the chord in a different way because instead of using the entire kitchen sink, you only have three notes. So it's a very simple, but a very accessible sound. It sounds very powerful because of the lack of different notes. And so there's less vibrations and the notes that are already there will ring out and shoot their harmonic content more freely in a way is what I, why I believe it's such a powerful sound. Uh, there's a ton of amazing players using them all the time. Uh, first comes to mind is obviously Eric Johnson, for instance, um, he loves spreading them apart. So let's take a look at a few examples of spread triads. Now spread triads is going to expand over four sets of strings, uh, at least, which makes it just easier to play. And obviously with four sets of strings, there's going to be some string skipping involved. Uh, how I pick it is usually and the two ways that we're going to look at it is pick, middle, ring finger and the other version is pick, pick, ring and you could pick whatever seems more natural to you however when we play it like a harmonic triad you're going to want to do the claw kind of thing love that chord now the spread triads is a very fun technique and obviously they sound beautiful if played just all together at once or if you spread them out like the Eric Johnson sort of style, uh, you can combine it obviously. It is also very easy to incorporate into the cage system. So basically you could make sure that all your cage shapes has a spread triad kind of a thing going on or at least you know that visually and can expand your fretboard knowledge to kind of accommodate this sort of technique. So I'm going to give you examples of all inversions in major and minor. However, if you head to my Patreon page, you're going to find supplements for also diminished and augmented triads. Moving on to minor. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, then leave a comment below. If you hated it, then leave a comment below as well. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon that pops up so that you're notified whenever new content comes up. Because as we're all in the lockdown, I'm gonna produce a ton of more content, and I really hope that you're with me in the entire adventure that this craziness is right now. See ya.